Patricia Kelmar joins us now. She serves as director of health care campaigns at the nonprofit U.S. Public Interest Research Group, or U.S. PERG, as they're more commonly known. Joins us today as a new ban on surprise medical bills went into effect uh, at the beginning of this year. So, Patricia Kelmar, first, by yeah, start by explaining what a surprise medical bill is. Well, of course, there are a lot of bills that we get from our doctors and hospitals that are surprising, but this term surprise medical bill is the particular bill that you get from an out of network hospital or doctor. And it's um, one that you did not agree to necessarily or expect. So that's a situation where you might go to an in network hospital, um, but unbeknownst to you, a out of network anesthesiologist uh, gives you your anesthesia for your surgery. Of course, we expected to get anesthesia, but we expected the services at our in-network hospital to be in-network as well. And so those bills can be very expensive because our insurance company only pays part of that bill and we're left with that larger remaining amount. That's what makes the surprise and that's what's frustrating. What do we know about how big of a problem this has been for Americans in recent years? Yeah, it's a growing problem. Actually, it's a pervasive billing practice that um, has been growing in both emergency rooms and in hospitals. One in five Americans, insured Americans, who either get surgery or um, go to an emergency room are likely to receive a surprise medical bill. And those bills can be in the hundreds to thousands of dollars. So what is the No Surprises Act? And is this problem now taken care of? Well, it's taken care of for most surprise medical bills. It's a landmark consumer protection that we fought for years to get. Uh, several states actually passed uh, laws initially to show that this can be done. We can um, stop those surprise medical bills from coming. And now, luckily, uh, Congress responded as well um, with a lot of encouragement from consumers and insured Americans across the country. Uh, so what it does is it prohibits surprise medical bills, those out of network bills from occurring and from you receiving them in three specific situations. The first is um, emergency treatment. So no matter where you're taken uh, for emergency treatment, you only pay your in network costs, your co-pays, your co-insurance, your deductible. So for emergency treatment, no more surprise medical bills. And the second important area is also um, air ambulances. So if you're transported by a helicopter or an airplane to get treatment, that's another area where you will no longer be paying that extra charge as an out of network service. And then the most important one that I think is frustrating for Americans is when you've done everything right, you've gone to your in network hospital, you've chosen your in network provider and somewhere along the line, a radiologist, an anesthesiologist, or lab work even was done out of network and you're left holding the bag. So now those bills will be banned as well. So most in-network services are going to be protected, uh, covered and, and you won't get an extra bill.